Hi everyone, in this video we will deploy a react app on firebase hosting with github actions. So here I have created a boilerplate react app. It just sends the boilerplate code and this is what I am going to deploy to firebase hosting. So I will create a github repository and then I will push this react app to github. and I will name it react fb and now in terminal and finally I will push this code Okay, so it's deployed. So now go to Firebase and you need to create a new project here. I will use this one. Make sure you have Firebase tools installed. If not, then just install it npm install dash g Firebase dash tools. I have already installed it. So now we will log into Firebase. Firebase login colon ci. Now it's asking for permissions, so just allow it. All right, so it's done and it has returned this token we will use it later now we will initialize the firebase project in this directory firebase init and we will select this hosting configure files for firebase hosting and optionally set up github action deploys so press spacebar and then enter now here we will have to select the project so use an existing one and this is the one i will use now it will ask us uh, some questions so public directory will be built since it's a react app and configure a single page app yes and set up automatic build and deploys no because i will do it manually So here you can see it has added two files. Also I have I have configured it as single page app because let's say your app has two routes uh, the home route and the about route. So when it's deployed and you are on about route and you refresh the page you will be redirected to 404. And that's why I have configured it as single page app to redirect all URLs to slash home page. And here you can see in firebase.json file. And here you can see this rule has been added because we configured the project as single page app. So now we will create GitHub actions. So at the root level, Create a directory dot github and inside this directory create another directory workflows and inside it create a file main dot yaml okay so So you need to, so we need to copy paste this code. Uh, I will provide the link in the description. So 
सो दिस वर्क फ्लो हैज टू सेक्शन ऑन एंड जॉब सो इन दिस ऑन सेक्शन वी डिफाइंड द प्रोसेस वी वुड लाइक टू मॉनिटर सो इन दिस केस वी वॉन्ट टू मॉनिटर गेट पुश एंड पुश टू वेज ब्रांच हेयर वी नीड टू स्पेसिफाई द ब्रांच आई एम ऑन मास्टर सो आई विल चेंज इट टू मास्टर सो इन दिस जॉब सेक्शन वी डिफाइंड वॉट टू डू वेन देर इज अ गेट पुश ऑन मास्टर ब्रांच सो हेयर वी आर रनिंग एन पी एम इंस्टॉल टू इंस्टॉल द डिपेंडेंसीज एन पी एम रन बिल्ड क्रिएट बिल्ड एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो एडेड सी आई फॉल्स इफ सी आई इज ट्रू देन एनी वार्निंग इन योर ऐप विल बी ट्रीटेड एज एरर एंड बिल विल नॉट सक्सीड सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप इट ट्रू देन मेक श्योर यू डोंट हैव एनी एरर यू डोंट हैव एनी वार्निंग्स आई विल जस्ट कीप इट एज फॉल्स and here you can see we are referencing a firebase token so now we need to create this token in and we need to add this token in github so go to github in your github repository click setting and then here you can see secret actions new repository secret so the name will be what we de defined here firebase token and its value will be the token we got when we ran firebase login this is uh, where we ran firebase login and upon successful authorization we got this token so copy this and paste it here add secret so now this secret is added all right so save it and now we will put this code to repository and in github repository and if you click on this actions you will see this workflow is triggered so it will perform all these steps and once it's done we will check our firebase Okay so build is done now it's working on deploy All right so this workflow process is completed so now go to firebase click your project and then click hosting if there is a shortcut you can find it here otherwise say from this build so here you can see we have two urls so this is our react app now if we makes any change push the code again so now uh, uh, this workflow is triggered again so i will come back once it's done all right so it's done Now let's go to our Firebase app. 
and if I just refresh it, you see it's updated. So our continuous deployment is working. So that's how we can deploy React app on Firebase with GitHub Actions.